set for dramatic change this season, but Mercedes Lewis Hamilton remains favorite for a fourth world championship ahead of the 10th anniversary of his debut in the sport. I believe we'll continue. We've got great foundation. Um, the one great thing here is that this team is that we don't get ahead of ourselves. The three-time world champion, arguably the sport's fastest man, had to swallow a bitter pill over the European winter, having lost the 2016 crown to his longtime friend and arch rival, Nico Rosberg. Hamilton pushed the German all the way to the final corner of the final lap backing him up into the chasing pack in a desperate attempt to drop him out of the podium place he needed for the title, but to no avail. The Brit also took heat from management, whose repeated calls to speed up fell on deaf ears. Despite fears his tactics could cost the Silver Arrows a record 19th victory in a season. As a racer, I can understand that he needed to do everything in order to change the outcome of the championship. And I can also understand from the fans' perspective that you don't want to have any interference from the pit world. It's boring. You want them to fight it out on track among each other. But equally, it's not the system we have relied on over the last three years. Naturally, with Rosberg gone, Hamilton is an unchallenged top dog. But while incoming teammate Valtteri Bottas is expected to be quick, he's not going to immediately be the thorn in the side that the German increasingly was. All I can say is I've worked with Finnish people before who are generally very, very mellow, very easygoing. However, it's likely Bottas won't be the pushover that Heike Kovalainen was when the pair were teammates at McLaren from 2008 to 2009. Especially with the new flying fin, incredibly ambitious. You sure need to go step by step, you know. I think first, you know, I'm missing my first win. So that's the first target. But uh, I'm setting a goal that I can perform at the level where the car is from the first race onwards. Hamilton will be giving his all from the start to re-establish himself as undisputed number one for preferential treatment later in the year as title protagonist, if the car is up to it. As a result, the 32-year-old was very cool when asked at an event early in 2017 if he'd spent much time with Bottas. Well, I mean, I've, I, of course, I know him from, from being at the races. He's been racing for quite some time, so... I spent time with him at the, at the, at the racetrack. We're not in a, in a, away from the race circuit, no. To get a flying start, Hamilton needs a car as potent as the three previous that took Mercedes to consecutive drivers and constructors titles. Reliability will also be a key focus, with the Brits' dramatic engine failure in Malaysia not only the tipping point in his championship fight, but a painful source of motivation for Mercedes high-performance powertrains. It's always a difficult time. Um, everybody puts a, a huge amount of dedication into, into the power unit. Um, there's a lot of pride. A fourth title for Hamilton would draw him level with F1 legend Alain Prost, and Ferrari Sebastian Vettel. And with a new teammate and rivals yet to show their teeth, he just might get it.